Hello guys, Terra Artist Movie here with another exciting tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a 3D looking image from a static image. So this is what we're going to be creating. So I have a two photos of Emma Watson here for example. It's just as you can see here a static image. Also the other one, static image and this is what we're going to be creating. So as you can see there, it looks like a 3D image and the camera looks like the camera is moving and there you go. Now, you can use this effect or this method for if you have, if you um, going to create a some kind of biography video about some people and you want to make it interesting instead of just, um, you know, showing um, their picture, you can use this method. Alright, so... Um, Let's just get started to do the tutorial. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so um, first, um, I'm gonna tell you that you're gonna need two software, which is Photoshop and After Effects. Alright, so first thing first, we're gonna do it in Photoshop. So, as you can see here, I already got it running. And we're gonna import the photo. Just click and drag it to Photoshop. And now we're gonna create a new layer by clicking down here, create a new layer, boom, new layer, as you can see here. And maybe you're gonna double click on the picture here. I'll click OK to unlock the lock here. So just in case um, you wanna change something on the picture later. So make sure you click on the new layer here we just, we just that we just create. And then go to the left side over here. So you can see you got a two box here, white and black. Um, make sure the black it on the at the top uh, side here. And uh, if if it's if your color is not black, just double click it. And choose the black color and click OK. There you go. And you're gonna go to here, Paint Bucket Tool. If if you're not on the Paint Bucket Tool, just click and hold your mouse and then choose Paint Bucket Tool. There you go. And then make sure again you're on our new layer here, and just paint it all black. And there. And then uh, we're gonna change the opacity of this layer to around 70%, so we can still see our photo here. So make sure again you click the uh, our new layer here, and then we are gonna go to the brush tool. So what we are going to do here is actually we're gonna make a map um, that represents the depths of the image. So uh, imagine that the black area is for the furthest area from the camera, and the white area is the um, nearest area. From the camera if you still don't understand that you will understand later so first thing first make sure this um, you're gonna change it to white at the top here if it's not white once again just click it and choose the white color and okay I'm sorry by the way I'm kind of in a cold now <laughs> so my voice kind of uh, anyway let's just <laughs> get started and uh, yeah brush tool and we're gonna change the opacity is important and uh, you're gonna make it 25% around that. There you go, 24 for me maybe. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna change the hardness to 100. There you go. And then basically we're gonna paint all of the subject. So to um, make your um, brush uh, bigger, just on your keyboard, just click. Um, be uh, and bracket and to make it smaller just uh, press um, begin bracket or manually you can you ever you can use <laughs> you can change the size here <laughs> that's in an Asian language right all right so um, make it bigger from your keyboard is and bracket and we're gonna paint it white just like so there you go All of her hair here. There you go. Alright, so now except the background of course, just the subject. And then maybe we're gonna make it smaller for the brush here. And we're gonna paint um we're gonna make it uh more brighter on the part that uh uh is gonna be nearest on, on the camera. So uh as you can see here her hair here. There you go. Our also all of her face. Just make it neat here. 
There you go. If you have some pen tablet, maybe it's gonna be more easier. I'm just using my mouse here, and uh, also this part of her hair. As you can see here, is actually on the. There you go. All right. So, um, maybe this is not. All right. So next, maybe I'm gonna make it even more. smaller and then for this part of this hair also a little bit and then also her eyebrow this part and make sure you still hold the mouse and then go for the nose because of course obviously the nose is gonna be um, the one that gonna be closer to the camera there you go and also the lips and for the lips I uh, maybe the, the chin first yeah, and for the lips, make it smaller. I'm gonna draw the lips. I hope you understand this. So basically, you're gonna make um the part that um closer to the camera to be white. Oh, sorry there, to be wider, and the part that uh, farthest from the camera is gonna be a black. So uh, the tip of the nose is maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit more white. You see there, and also the check, of course, like so, and of course, this side too, like so. And for the eyes, um, we gonna change it to black and turn down the opacity to around 8, 9, 10, maybe 8, maybe 9 and then just draw the eye because eye is kinda further away a little bit kinda go inside there there you go for the eyes and maybe this part also because it's kinda further away a little bit and also this part of the neck here there you go maybe also this part alright so we're gonna change the opacity back to 100% and you will see something scary like this oh whoops alright no need to fix that alright you will see something scary like this <laughs> and then all you're gonna do is go to filter and we're gonna add some blur so blur Gaussian blur and maybe around 14 for me uh, basically we're gonna uh, we're gonna blend everything so okay as you can see it's kind of bland it looks scary but uh, <laughs> yeah later you're gonna find it really cool alright so we're gonna save this um, file save as we're gonna call it Emma Watson save okay and uh, we're gonna close this and we're gonna fire up uh, After Effects so inside After Effects, we're gonna add some um, effect called Displacement Map. So we're gonna click our Photoshop file here and just drag it to After Effects. Make sure you're on the project, not the fact project, and just drag it. Boom. And uh, we're gonna wait. And make sure the import kind here. You're gonna click composition, retain layer sizes, of course, and then merge layer styles into footage. I'm gonna click OK. And by the way, you can just file um, import file. It will be the same to import the Photoshop file. And you're gonna you're gonna uh, drag it here, and then double click on this composition, and you can see your Photoshop layers inside After Effects. And we're going to change it to 100%. Zoom in. And we can actually turn off the uh, map layer. And we can right click and rename it as map. And this one as um, Emma. <laughs> Alright, so make sure you click the Emma here. Your picture, <laughs> whatever your picture is. And go to effects and presets here. And just type in this placement map. Alright. You already got that this person map and click and drag it to the to your picture now 
on the displacement map here you're gonna change the displacement map layer from Emma to map and then you're gonna change it the um, displacement style here uh, from red to luminance and also the green here to luminance um, because it's black and white and uh, as you can see here if we change the um, horizontal displacement or vertical displacement it already looks like a 3d looking picture there you go look at it Woo -woo. but don't do it too much or it will screw the image look at it Woo. All right <laughs> um, and uh, vertical also don't do it too much there you go so what you can do here the default is 5 uh, you're gonna go to uh, create click it just click uh, something that looks like a clock here and of also the vertical displacement click it and on the Emma here just click U to show up the um, keyframes and then maybe on this uh, this keyframe we're gonna like Emma facing on the left side over here and then for the vertical maybe facing down a little bit make sure not too much we're gonna screw up the image and then go here and we're gonna change it to positive value and also the vertical here whoo don't do it too much make sure it still looks like Emma Watson not like creepy witch yeah, well she's a witch here in, uh, in this photo but not a creepy one so five maybe and there you go and then you can of course um, as uh, back to this composition the first composition and as you can see here you got some blackness well you can do just press S and scale it up a little bit and there you go alright so guys as you can see here oh I just save it <laughs> and you can ram preview as you can see here it looks like the Emma Watson is moving in 3d um, so it's like a 3d image um, we just create this from a static photo uh, so I hope you find this tutorial useful I'm I'm so sure you're gonna find it useful if you make some biography of some people or something a video and uh, yeah you can use it and by the way you, you're gonna you're gonna see this uh, method uh, a lot in some like E news, like uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever show that um, show people all the bigger. Oh my god, my English sucks. It is what happened when I got a cold and I tried to make a tutorial. My English sucks. All right, guys, before I screw it up, everything, I'm just gonna close it here. My name is Star from Star Arts Movie. I found you find. <laughs> I don't... See that? Say that. I found you find. <laughs> I hope you find this tutorial useful and <laughs> see you in the next school videos and tutorials. Ciao.